What's good, everybody? It's your friend Cam from the beautiful Vancouver, Canada, and welcome to Stream Wrap Up. What is Stream Wrap Up? Stream Wrap Up is a continuation of part of a stream where we finished the game, but we didn't actually do some of the extra stuff that a lot of people actually wanted to see me keep going with. And because we had to move on to other games, we just didn't get a chance to do another episode doing some of those extra things. And so our very first Stream Wrap Up video is going to be about Assassin's Creed 3. I actually hadn't played Assassin's Creed 3 in over 10 years. Uh, we're currently on a journey right now, all the way up to Assassin's Creed Mirage. And right now we're on Assassin's Creed Rogue. And it was really cool that there's a part of Assassin's Creed Rogue that really confused me with the timeline. But I came back to do this episode, the recording of this, and something happened there that blew my mind because it just fixed everything in the Assassin's Creed Rogue game. It was fantastic. It just was like a lights on moment. And so the purpose of these wrap-ups are for the people who are with me in chat uh, in any of the Assassin's Creed 3 episodes who were asking for this. They went on the journey with me, the adventure. Uh, we went on that together. A lot of people uh, haven't seen some of these games. Some of you have, right? But ultimately, this is just the adventure, continuation of that adventure. And so I'm so happy to kind of share this with you as we kind of make our way up to Assassin's Creed Mirage. If you've never had a chance to see any of our content before, we do stream very, very regularly on Kick, DLive, Twitch, and YouTube. Feel free to follow on the platform of your choice. And if your favorite streamer or your favorite content creator isn't playing something you're interested in or they're just not online, I have a huge list of stuff that we enjoy, that we play on a regular basis, that you'll probably find something you like. In fact, in the description below, every Assassin's Creed game that we have done a stream on is episodical, man. We got. Assassin's Creed 1 all the way up to our current Assassin's Creed. Just click on the episode you want and come along uh, for the journey with us. All right. We're fun. We're friendly. We give away the safe word. I promise. <laughs> okay. Thanks again, everybody who was with me, who was worth me on the journey. <laughs> if you're with me on this journey so far, I appreciate you all. I can't wait to see you on the next stream. But until that time, stay healthy, stay safe, and go give someone a high five. We'll see you on the next one. There's got to be someone I can talk to here. Alrighty. First things first, start knocking off some of these conversations. Just wrap up all of our little loose ends here. Are they all the way up on the cliff? They are. Man. Made me work for this. <laughs> Climb up this? I hope so. Nice. Nice. <laughs> can we climb up this? We're Connor, of course we can. <laughs> Why couldn't we? And we can walk fences, because, you know, it's the fun thing to do. <laughs> hey, buddy! What's up? Hello, Connor. Norris. How are you? Alright. Remember we talked about Miriam? Oh, yeah. I do, and the cougar she felled. One shot. Confident and precise. Incroyable. <laughs> I like her. Yeah, you do. She's a good friend. We all do. Nah, you ain't getting it. Not like that, Connor. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> well, good for you. <laughs> Only good for me if she likes me back. She's a strong woman, an mm -hmm. independent woman. I admire her. I wish you well in your quest, Norris. <laughs> Connor, oh. Oh. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, we got some audibles right there. Looks like we got a mission right there. Okay, let's get rid of all of the audio stuff first. It's funny. that I knew that this was here. We're playing Assassin's Creed Rogue right now. And I knew where that was there, but it wouldn't let us in. <laughs> Oh, there's a dude down here. What's up, bro? Remembering old times, Achilles? Connor. Oh, yes. I suppose I was. Seems like so long ago. Yeah. Who was the assassin this belonged to? Originally, it was John de la Tours, the first assassin in the colonies. Huh. Then it was mine for a time. Ah, uh, the things I've done wearing that armor. Some are uplifting to recall. Others, very painful indeed. Mm. 
One day, I will hand it over to you, Connor. Ah. It is your duty to keep it. It serves as a reminder for how long our brotherhood has really been here. Makes sense. How long we've been protecting the people of this land. But here I am going on again. I know you appreciate what it is. True enough, Achilles. True enough. Alright. One down. Got a couple more to go. What's very interesting to me is because right now we're playing Assassin's Creed Rogue. And in Assassin's Creed Rogue, the timeline seems messed up. When in, in Assassin's Creed 3, when Connor first came here, there were no assassins here whatsoever. It was just Achilles. Completely. That's all that's all it was. Right? Yet in Rogue, Achilles is young. So and at that point, they're talking about Connor being up and coming. But how would they know about Connor? Because Achilles didn't even know about Connor until he was old. It's confusing to me, man. It's really confusing to me. Now, there's one more audible, I think, wasn't there? There it is. Ha-ha. Okay, is there anywhere else we can fast travel? We can't fast travel. Shit. <laughs> All right, I guess we ought to walk it. All right. Time to go for a little walk. I could go on the horse, but I'd probably kill myself. <laughs> it's cool coming back to the game a little bit, especially now that we've done uh, Black Flag, and then we just started Rogue the other night. It makes me appreciate, I guess, just uh, how well Ubisoft did remasters. Like, the visuals are so much improved, and even this right now doesn't look bad for the PS3. Knock, knock. How's it going, my friends? Delicious, love. Connor, what brings you? I was passing by, and I thought I would stop in and see how you were faring. Well, that's nice of you. Mm -hmm. Well, my boy, we are faring very well. Between those who live here, the sailors coming and going from the pier, not to mention the travelers... Our beds are always full, and our taps are always flowing. Nice. I am pleased things have worked out for you here. As are we, Connor. Yeah, I bet they are. I'd be lying if I told you we weren't worried when we were ousted from our old place. For the Lord works in mysterious ways. <laughs> so, so far, people are settling in and making a good little spot here for themselves. Exactly what Connor wanted. Exactly what he wanted. Where is our homestead mission? Now it's been so long, I don't even know what this is going to be. I kind of forget what we already did. <laughs> Hello. Silk errand. Good day, Connor. I left some boats of fine silk in my old home. They are very valuable, but I don't think it wise I return there. Probably, yeah. Someone might wind up dead. <laughs> I was hoping you could retrieve them for me if you had time. Absolutely. Let's get it. New York. Cool. All right. Let's hit up that fast travel, baby. One thing I don't miss is the the map and the, uh, this whole GUI, man. I do not miss it at all. <laughs> All right, let's see. I think that's our spot. Yep. There's so much stuff I haven't gotten here before. <laughs> All right, let's go for a little walk, shall we? This is our zone, too, so I don't think anyone's going to really be attacking us. If they want to, I'm down for a couple of scraps. Uh-oh. Rain's come in. Looks like we're here. Wait, what? You take the shit, bro. Aw. Oh, that's a bad choice, my guy. Bad choice. Oh. I did not mean to do that. The empty crate. Must be this, right? Yo, you kept your precious silks out in the chicken yard, girly? 
That's a bad place to put fine silk, I would think. What? what? Dude, what? Why would you do that? What the hell was that? A little glitch in the system there. Alright, well, I mean, I thought I was going to have to fight someone, but that wasn't that bad. I don't miss how white everything was. Like, all the loading screens, like, they're super white. And I got, like, a 32-inch 4K, like, blasting white at me. Like, giving me a sunburn here and shit. <laughs> Alrighty, and here we are. And she's working away at in the middle of the night. <laughs> is there a moon up tonight? There it is. So we're bringing her silk in the middle of the night. Don't leave your silk on the chicken coops, girly. <laughs> Sheesh. I found your bolts. Wonderful. I hope it wasn't too much trouble. Well, how... Your husband was there, speaking ill of you. He ran off when he saw me. Oh my. Yeah. That dirty, rotten bastard of a man would do something like that. At least you were able to come away with the only thing of value that remained there. <laughs> Thank you, Connor. Damn. A man thrown under the bus. Nice. She can craft the good stuff. I like it. Alright, let's freaking go. Who are you? Everything must go. Dr. White? No. He's the drunken solder on the corner. Oh. If you can get his attention, tell him I quit. All this ire on him. Not worth getting caught up in it. I have a family. What well, ire? I don't know if this is a... Tr <laughs> Do we want a, a drunk doctor in our homestead? Oh, no. Oh, shit. Oh, we're killing people on this. I thought we were just going to beat these guys up. Just knocking all these boys out. <laughs> I love that they brought in the slow motion in the EC3. Yes. <laughs> He's so Connor. drunk. And what can I help you with? Another quote for the broadsheets for you to twist against me. I'm here to make you an offer. Don't you know who I am? I'm the doctor the British have been slandering all over town. Okay. Like dead. No? <laughs> I was given your name by my friends Warren and Prudence. Prudence is with child and requires a doctor's hand. Prudence is pregnant? Yeah. <laughs> They've been trying for years, it seems. Maybe getting away from Boston is exactly what I need. Yeah. Let's get you out of here, Doc. <laughs> I like how excited he was. I like how excited he was. Cool. Alright, so we should have a mission in the homestead. However, I'm thinking... You know what? Let's just do it. Oh, don't do that. What? You know, they just walked right by me. Oh my god, those guys are so dumb. I love it. <laughs> that was hilarious. Alright, let's go check out this homestead mission. Alright, we're back. And we actually have a bunch of new homestead missions. Let's get it. Oh man, I'm so, I'm excited. Alrighty, here we are. Who knew just finding a random doctor would unlock so much... Oh, here we go. Alright. Big herder. Uh-oh. We're getting dirty. What is it, Prudence? I feel silly bothering you with this, but... Warren's taken a yield to markets in Boston. Could you round up the livestock for me? 
I've tried, but this baby in my belly takes the wind out of me. Of course. I will see to it. No! These guys are not listening at all. Come on, guys. Enough of fucking around here. Not there. <laughs> yeah. No, where are you going, bro? Stop it. I'll give him a pet. Maybe that helps. Okay, now, come on, piggy. Faster than they look. Yeah, yeah, get, get, go, go. Oh. All right, piggy. No, 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 no. He went right through me. This is a magic pig. Yeah, turn that shit around, Porker. Come here, Porky. Let's go. Abadi, abadi, abadi. Get your ass in there. <laughs> I feel that frustration right now. No, 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 no. Now, why would you go back there, you dumb pig? Okay, you know what? Maybe. Come on, get in the pen. Jeez, these things are so annoying. There they go. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, why did you go that way? This is very frustrating to me right now. Hip, hip. this way. I'm bodying this thing. I pet, maybe if I, you. I'm gonna make you into bacon like right now. Oh my God. No. I had it too. Not there. This is really actually, like, this should not be the, go, go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. Come on, do it for daddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, there we go. Where's the last motherfucker? Come here. Why are you... Don't you want to go with your friends? Are you too good for your home? <laughs> Fucking happy Gilmore here. Yeah, I just bodied you. Fucking hog. Go with your friends. No, why would you do that? I'm going to pet you. Give you some goodies. And you're going to listen. Now, turn around. There you go. Atta boy. <laughs> that was so annoying. I guess the key was you got to give him a pet first. Thank you, Connor. I could never have managed that. Mm. It was my pleasure. <laughs> oh, no, it wasn't. I am, and I couldn't be happier. Warren and I have been waiting a long time for this. And if truth be told, we could not dream of a better place to raise our family. Hey. That warms the heart. Even if heard those fucking pigs didn't. <laughs> it's just... It was our pleasure. No, it wasn't. Far from it. <laughs> Ooh, we have a windmill now. Good shit. It's like a... Kind of like a Sim City in the way. Like, we're slowly building our city here on the home side. I love it. Where's our next one here? Ooh, we have an audio right there. Let's do it. Oh. Dr. White called upon us earlier. A very unexpected surprise. One that has put both Prudence and I at ease. Right on. The village is growing, and a healer's services will benefit all. Mm -hmm. Indeed. Ah, it's hard to explain how I am feeling right now. My wife is resting healthy and safe, full with child in our warm home. The community is kind and attentive, and the land is rich. It was not long ago that such a life was only a dream for us, Connor. Yeah. All people deserve to feel safe and free. Hopefully a day will come when all men of the colony should share your perspective. But it will be a long, hard road. That much is certain. Yeah. All right. Hey, what's up, puppy? All right, where to next? Let's do that one up the hill. Why not? I, I, I've said before, like, I would love to live like this. As long as I had, like, cell phone service and internet... Sign me up, man. <laughs> I'll take all the rest of it. Just give me my cell phone and uh, some internet access, you know, and we're good. Alrighty, what do we got going on here? Oh, it's our boy. Norse gonna try again. Yeah, he's trying to get, I think, is it Miriam? He wants to, he fancies Miriam. Bad news, she did not like the flowers, she tossed them aside. 
But Prudence was certain. I knew Miriam was not the type for flowers. I will uncover this mystery myself, Norris. Yeah. <laughs> All right, but please don't let her see you. She will think I'm bizarre. <laughs> Time to sneak on our own people. Don't get caught while looking for the perfect gift idea. All right, let's get it. Really? Okay. Hey. Don't see me, please don't see me. This is so awkward, man. <laughs> She's more of a practical. She doesn't want flowers. She wants something that she can use. She's mad, mad. She might appreciate a new knife. That blade has seen its prime. All right, there we go. <laughs> Dude, when when she first saw me, like I felt like. That was intense, because, like, I didn't want to come across as awkward, like, in the middle of the night rolling up on her like that. That'd be like, what are you doing? That's so fucking weird, bro. <laughs> you know? Whew, that was a long run. I couldn't fast travel it, man. Sheesh. <laughs> All right, my guy. Here's what we got. Norris. I looked around her camp, and it seems she needs a new hunting knife. The one she is using has seen better days. Oh, we. Oui. That seems more right for her. I'll think on it. Merci. I got you, bro. <laughs> All right, what do we got next? Oh, yeah. Another homestead mission right there. Let's get it. But first, let's talk to our boy. What's going on, Norris? What are we doing now? Norris, how is the mine? Is there anything worth your time down there? Most definitely. Copper, Connor. And a healthy amount of it. Nice. Excellent. I am glad. I've been meaning to ask. Is Norris a common French name? My real name is not Norris. It's Maurice. Ah! <laughs> but you told me... I did. When I arrived in Boston, people started calling me Norris. And I got tired of correcting them all the time. Just before we met... I'd been talking with that lady at the pub. She said she liked my name, Norris. <laughs> I decided to stick with it. Would you prefer I called you by your real name? Nah. <laughs> Everybody here knows me as Norris. Miriam included. Names can change, but people stay the same. Isn't that right? <laughs> Connor? <laughs> Very true. That was a good call out, too. Absolutely. <laughs> All right. Let's hit that next homestead mission. All right. What do you got for us? Notice. Use your help. Three more. I want to build her a new knife of steel I make special. I know where to get iron, but the mine belongs to the English. Iron? Will it take long to gather? No. A couple of blasts and I will have what I need. I just need you to stand watch. Couple blasts? I will wait for you at the mine. It's not far, just off the property. Okay. Couple blasts just to let everybody flip and know. You know. Alright, where's our guy at? Dude, he's all the way out here? Shit. Not far off the property, my ass. Wow. I... I did not mean to do that. Oh. Wow, I just rolled up on that dude, man. 
Don't mind me, guys. Just killing livestock and huge ass wild animals. Like, this dude is asking a lot of me right now. Oh, it's just outside the property. Fuck, man. Sheesh. Oh, my God. I need to prepare some explosive. My guess is the bang will bring some unhappy English. <laughs> no doubt. I had best prepare some things myself. Don't mind us just chilling out here at night by a, a mine. No big deal. Oh. Oh shit. Well, there go there there it goes. Oh dear. I think they are coming. No shit. Why was he standing right there? <laughs> Bye, notice. <laughs> All right, here we go. <laughs> Let's try again, shall we? I think they are coming. Hey, move away, Norse. That didn't work out. Dude, how can I aim for that? Come from over here. Yeah, they all come from here. So then do do the block, okay. Good night. Yeah, as much as I want to use the barrels to blow them up. Alright, they're probably coming this way. Yeah. See, it's so hard. <laughs> Woo! Oh, yo, we missed that. I didn't mean to do that. Oh. Doesn't auto. That wasn't that bad. Dude, I worked my ass off for that shit. You better get some good fucking ore. Got everything. Time to go. Mm-hmm. Sheesh. What's going on with our friends here? All these missions we're doing at nighttime, too. <laughs> like, yeah, that's not, no big deal. No one sleeps, you know, in the frontier, you know. Uh, okay. Let's just whistle out some doors. <laughs> what do we got here? Oh, some nice shoes. Excuse me. 
Might I impose upon the kindness in your heart to give bed and board to a weary traveler? That's what they're here for. Oh, traveler from where? Across an ocean. London. English! <laughs> Rest assured, I'm not the king's man. <laughs> a great kindness. Bless you. We work hard for what we have here, old man. What is it you do exactly? Be nice. I wish to provide God for those who seek his salvation, not spoon feed his word to those who already have their own. Mm. An outlook not shared by the monarchy. <laughs> Lord knows some of us have things to confess. Ollie and I have been missing our Sunday mass. I'd like Maria to read the Bible. I'm sure if we all pitched in, we could build a church. If you'd be our pastor. Connor? Welcome, Minister... Father. Father Timothy. Ah, uh, Father Timmy. Let's get him a church now, shall we? Raise a thousand, dude. We are. We got our. We got six k. We good. I must retire. Good night. Bless you. This will build a fine place of worship. Uh. Time for rest is upon me. <laughs> it's nice that I had the cash right there. It's like bop. One k. There you go, buddy. Consider that my my tithing for the year. <laughs> Offer moral guidance to all homesteaders. There we go. What's next on our homestead list? Ah, we got one and we got two. Alright, this one's closest, so let's hit it up. What's going on here? Oh, shit. What are you doing out here at night? She's gonna... That baby's coming. Now it's daytime. What are you doing out here in the woods? Thank goodness. The baby's coming. We need to get you to Dr. White. No, I can't move. Take my horse. Bring him here. All right. Three minutes. Here we go. The miracle of life, my friends. <laughs> the music's all... I better not get myself bucked off this horse. Dude, you gotta get out the way. Well, she might as well have the baby right up in nature. What's wrong? Prudence is in labor in the forest. In the forest? What the bloody hell is she doing out there? Right? Does not matter. I mean, it's kind of like, yeah, everyone's like, what the fuck are you doing out here, Prudence? Shit. We need to get water. Now? Yes. All right. Yeah, Prudence, you put us into a pickle here. Are you here? Over here. The trouble. Where is she? Let's go. She seemed to you. In great pain. She could not move herself. Was she pale? Was there blood? Not that I saw. Might be we have some time. About a minute and thirty seconds, I would guess. Dude, what are you, what are you guys doing? What the fuck are they doing, man? Get on my horse, you what? How come he didn't get on his horse? I am so confused right now. Did he get on? He's running. He's <laughs> You know that man. He has a wife in labor and he's just booking it <laughs> on foot like that. Alright, looks like we made it. This guy is just like watching by. Oh my word. <laughs> Hello, Doctor. I think I can manage at the moment. Is she alright, Doctor? No, she's not alright. She's having a baby and here by the looks of it. Okay. Oh, natural. The forest baby. Yes. Just like that, the miracle of child of birth. It was that easy, guys. Has a good set of lungs on him. No, I don't mean to rush you, but we need to get both you and... Does he have a name yet? Hunter. Okay, not bad. Yeah, baby's already asleep. Not even nursing, just, you know. <laughs> 
Oh man. If only were that easy. But our little township has a new member. New resident. Oh, we got a conversation there, and we have a mission here. Let's do the conversation first. How's the baby, guys? How's the baby? Keeping you up at night? Oh, they're all having a smoke. Smoke, Connor? No, thank you. We were just recalling the eventful day of Little Hunter's birth. Mm, yes. Dude had a I'm horse. I'm not sure I have ever been so anxious. <laughs> <laughs> I barely remember a thing up until the moment I heard him cry. <laughs> then it all slows down, and I recall every little detail. From It'd be like that. Face, to Prudence's teary eyes filled with pure love. To the smell of the mud and the leaves. I've never been as happy as I was in that instant. <laughs> uh, things in this house sound right. <laughs> Cute. Yeah, we got a prospering little burrow here. Alright, what's our next uh, homestead mission here? Yeah, as a dad with two little ones, I can confirm it'd be like that. Everything just kind of slows down in that instant. Whereas my wife, she wanted to speed up to get it fucking over with. <laughs> hey, what's going on here? That's a nice little chair you got there, sir. Got a moment, Connor? Sure do. I don't mean to be a bother, but I wanted to ask you something. When my cars went up in flames, I lost most of my tools. Okay. I've got some spares back at my shop in Boston, but as you know, I'm not really welcome around there. <laughs> I thought if it wasn't too much trouble, you could help me retrieve them. Yeah, okay. We went, we've gone to New York for what silk. What would you have me do? Watch my back while I gather them. Meet me in Boston at my old shop. Ah, okay. Similar to our buddy with the explosions. <laughs> Time to go to Boston. Dude's hat makes him look like he's one of the seven dwarves. <laughs> hi ho, hi ho. Oh, it's right here. Fucking blind. Sheesh. Okay, you know, it's not that far. All right. Yeah, pardon us, guys. So can we talk now, or what? Oh, yeah. How are you doing otherwise? Oh, all right, I suppose. Things never really go as planned. Yeah, no That's shit. Life. Really? How do you mean? Yeah. Sounds like you have had a string of misfortune. It will pass. That's a good attitude. What are you doing here? Sweeping my steps, if it please you. Uh oh. Since when are these your steps? Since I bought them three weeks ago. From who? Fiona. Via his apprentice. Uh oh. Owner shipped off out of town, was it to you? I am the owner. Not uh -oh. anymore, mate. Sorry. Better sort of things out with your apprentice. Oof. Doesn't at the pub over there, but I'm sure you already knew that. Patrick. Uh oh. Patrick, 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 what are you doing? Oh, well, there he is. Is he drunk as fuck? I bet he is. All right, what do you got to say for yourself, Patrick? Lance! Patrick! What gave you the right to sell my shop? Well, you were run out of town. I thought you'd never come back, so I sold it all. The shop, the tools, it's rough luck. 
Anyway, it's been great chatting, but I must be off. Have a nice life. <laughs> Toodles. Where's our part of the money? He's got them stats somewhere. Mm, okay. Can we follow him. Shit, tailing mission. All right, here we go. Okay. Good thing the subtitles were there. That was really low voice. Please don't come back this way. Okay, good, he's out of there. Done. Hey, stupid. No tools for you, buddy. <sighs> well, that's something at least. Thank you. I still can't believe he sold my shop. We should have asked him for half the money. At the homestead. Or more. All right, we're in the frontier. Is there any homestead missions here we can grab? Thank God, yes, there is. Phew. All right, now that's actually let's fast travel here. It'll be closer. What do we got going on here, gentlemen? What's all this? Get out of here, mate. This is not your business. Oh, okay. Call yourself a soldier. Got you. Hold that man. Whoa, what? What's what? the hell? Oh, let's go. That was sick. I don't even think. That was pretty sweet. <laughs> you love to see it. That, that's where Assassin's Get Creed 3 is. I'll put oh. a ball through his temple. There we go. <laughs> Are you hurt? Nothing that won't mend. Thank you, stranger. What were they doing? This lot was dragging me through the countryside trying to make an example of a deserter. Sorry now, who are you? Connor. A deserter, you say? Don't much agree with the fight, and uh, I love this country. So there you have it. Hmm. My name's David Walston. My friends call me Big Dave. Might I ask where you live so I could repay the debt when I'm able? Hmm. It might take us a while. Us smithies don't earn much coin these days. Our community is not far from here. And we certainly could use the services of a smith. Would you consider plying your trade there? Oh, well, it would make repaying you a spot easier. Facts. Yeah, I just might. All right, do we have any new missions now? I hope so. There it is, yeah. Just the one, but that, hey, we'll do that one at a time here. Now we got a, a forge so uh, Norris can um, help make his knife. There he is, right there. Have a minute, my friend. Proper tools. Okay. Is it coming, Big Dave? You make any progress on the knife? I would like to give it to Miriam soon. The steel Norris smelted is something else. I've rarely seen such fine metal. Yeah. Oh. The trouble is my old tools aren't hard enough to work it. Everyone needs their the tools. What I need aren't hard to find. A shop or two in New York sell them at a good price. I'd do it myself, but with the regulars after my head, I'll stay here safe and sound if I can. I have matters to attend to in New York. I will see to it the next time I journey there. Guess we're in New York. Alrighty. What do you got for us here, my guy? I have the tools you requested. Ah, excellent. I'll get right to work. Norris has been hanging around pestering me about his knife. I thought you should know I overheard some regulars talking. They are looking for you. Damn right there. I imagine they are. I'll have to face them sometime or another. Yeah. Well, you're safe here, dude. Don't worry about it. It's all good. Oh, shit. 
Norris, time to put up or shut up. Norris, what are you doing out here? I want to give Miriam her knife. Maybe you come with me? Of course. What is keeping you? I am nervous. I am certain she will love the blade you made for her. <laughs> what am I doing? Giving a woman a knife as a gift? It's so stupid. Yo, she's a this hunter. I think she will appreciate and use. Fox. Ugh. I made the stupid thing. I might as well give it to her. Might as well. Not up or shut up, bro. <laughs> All right, let's get it done. Good thing we caught up before he uh, talked himself out of it. Let's see how this goes. Hello, Miriam. Hello, Norris. Hello, Connor. I'd love to stay and chat, but I promised Ellen a bale of furs this week, and I'm not even close to making good. I need to get out into the bush right away. Two hunters are better than one. I can help if you like. Would you? I'd be much obliged. I, uh, I bring something for you. Oh. Uh. Maybe uh, it will help? I really must get moving. I will thank you properly when I get back. Ah. Until then. Hey, we got some smoochies. <laughs> Meet me at my northernmost hunting blind after you take your first skin. She's like she's direct though. Oh squirrel. What are we going for here? Yo, what? Who the fuck are you fighting? That guy should, like, disengage. If she's calling for help, that's a sign, like, he should get the fuck out. He's gonna be outnumbered, like, really soon. Working on it. Oh, see, you pussy. The time for forgiveness has passed. Yeah. I'll never come back. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You came after one of my hunters, one of my people, buddy. Yeah, this is my place, bro. Do we have to kill him? Please, mister. I guess, uh... If I hadn't had this blade, that lick spittle might have gutted me. A timely gift from Norris. <laughs> Indeed. I must make sure to thank him properly. Hmm, yes, you must. I didn't know if the game was going to give us a chance to actually let him go, but... Obviously not. I should have picked up on that when he said the time for forgiveness has passed. It's like, yo, you fucked up, my guy. It's really cool just seeing all of the, the characters kind of interact as we kind of build our little community here. I feel it's kind of also therapeutic for Connor as well. I really do. What's going on here? Connor! Connor! What? The final straw? What's this about? Connor! Alex Dullard of a man is trying to break down her door with his mates. We're on our way to stop it. Yeah, get out of here. Shut up, buddy. Nice. 
Nah, buddy. Not happening. Maybe I just killed him way too fast. And so it didn't, uh... No, stop it. You're not even getting a shot, buddy. Yo, how many dudes they got? Hold on, where's bro at? Yeah, choke on it. <laughs> that should do her. There we go. <laughs> I guess I was just a little too too quick on the draw last time. Ellen and Maria are free of you. I say so. The people behind me say so. Facts. Believe me when I tell you, if I ever see you on this land again, I will end you. You can have them. You know Connor's like not fucking around. I will end you. I wouldn't fuck with and that. Thank you. All of you. Nobody has ever stood up for us before. You're in the right community, sweetie. We protect our own, Ellen. This is my home now. I'll find a way to show my gratitude to you all. I promise. Yeah, we all working together just to have a good life, right? Man, I didn't even think there was going to be that many more homestead missions, man. This is That's going well. Lend me a hand. The wedding. Yay. <laughs> Aww. All it took was a knife. Chicks don't want flowers, man. They want knives. <laughs> well, it's not true for all of them. Hey! <laughs> Norris, what are you doing? She said yes! Marion, we are getting married! I told you not to touch him, Norris. Yeah. Is true? <laughs> yes! Aww. So now that you've been told, might I have a word? We have much work to do. Of course, what would you have me do? Accompany me to the inn. I have business there. Aw, yay. <laughs> Norris is a stickler when it comes to tradition. Miriam knows not where her father is. Mm. And they were hopeful that you might act his part at the ceremony. Aw. I am not familiar with colonial wedding customs. It means you will walk with her during the ceremony and give her to Norris. As her father, I would be honored. Wonderful. On to other business. All right. Our weddings are complex beasts and require many hands working together to execute. Yeah. We'll need Warren and Prudence to provide food. Ellen to make them appropriate clothes. Okay. Big Dave to smith wedding bands. Aw. Me to conduct the service. And Oliver and Corinne to host a banquet. That is a lot. We'll start here. Okay. Yeah, let's bring together the whole community. A few days later. How come Norris is in Achilles' uh, spot? Connor, everything seems to be in order for the big day. It is. Except, uh, I can't find Miriam. Uh, I'm certain she's making sure all is perfect. I will find her, my friend. Okay. Hopefully, uh... She ain't getting cold feet here. Why would the clues start upstairs? Broken. It's, that's not good. What? Oh, uh, I hope she didn't try and bail out. path is leading us right to down the middle here, so I'm okay with that. Where did she go, and why? What? Awkward. Uh... 
Uh, can you... What, Connor, what are you doing, buddy? Just... Fuck. Alright, so this is her little shack. What are you doing up there, Miriam? What? What is going on with you, Miriam? What are you doing, Miriam? Why do you run? Ooh, she mad. Nobody thinks you are one. Yeah, we've known from the beginning she's like a. <laughs> she's afraid of like losing her freedom and all that stuff. Like she's always been a shoot from the hip hunter type person, and I think she's worried that she's going to be stuck, you know, doing housework and chores and stuff like that, as was expected of women back in that day. And that's not her. What? That's it? I thought we were going to be able to, like, convince her. She just switched like that? No, oh, that one feels a little cheap. That one feels a little cheap right there. I mean, we knew it was all going to work out, but it could have had a little quick, you know, chat where he built her back up. She wouldn't lose her autonomy and who she is. That one kind of annoys me a little bit, but... You may kiss your bride. Yeah, skipped all the pleasantries. Smooch! Yay! <laughs> that really annoys me, though. There should have been a scene there where Connor was like, No, you're gonna be alright. This is gonna be okay, you know? Norris would never try and change you. You're your own woman. <laughs> you know? She's like, okay, yeah, I can do this. Let's go. Then it should have skipped to him walking her down the aisle. <laughs> Everybody get drunk. <laughs> Hello, Connor. Enjoying yourself? I am. <laughs> it is nice to see everyone together and happy. Look at those two kids. Lovely sight. Norris is one of my best friends, and he couldn't have found a better woman. What? Proud he is one of your best friends? Sometimes people are just right for one another. Norris and Miriam are a match made in heaven. Or a match made by Connor. <laughs> Isn't that right? I only helped Norris muster his courage. The rest came naturally. <laughs> Out of fairness, aside from his issues dealing with the finer sex, He's a hard worker, knowledgeable, he knows his stuff, so they'll be able to take their combined skills and make sure things work well, I think. <laughs> and my little brother Joseph tossed him in the river! <laughs> <laughs> Connor, we were just recalling our weddings. Spirited events, I take it. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds about right for them. <laughs> calling Joe Little is like calling me Big Terry. Boy's a bloody mountain. My younger brother had a blow up with one of Terry's cousins. A minor disagreement about some lass's dance card. <laughs> I'll just say Terry's cousin sobered up right quick when it was over. Poor boy. Sitting there sopping wet on a stump while Joseph spun around with the object of his affection. <laughs> Aww. It was good for him. Telling good things don't come easy. Oh. Excuse me, everyone. Thank you. I won't keep you long. I would like to present something to Connor and you all. Okay. I once said I'd find a way to show my gratitude for your courageous actions in my defense. And this is what I give you today. Aw. This flag is a symbol of our strength and unity. 
Oh. And I would hope you'd all be proud to fly it high above your homes and shops. I'll happily make one for each and every one of you, if you so desire. But this one is for you, Connor. Aww. Thank you. Aww. <laughs> Nice little flag for their growing community. And once again, I, I feel like that's all of this has been very therapeutic for Connor, being able to support and provide a safe place for people to come and, you know, live their lives freely together. What's that sound? It's an interesting flag, white, blue, and green. Let's, that's them knocking boots, in which case we'll, we'll move on. <laughs> Let the, enjoy your wedding night, guys. <laughs> All right. Do we have anything else? A hey, nice, it's right there. Hey. What's up, buddy? It is beautiful, old man. Yeah. It is. I've found a painting for the space above the mantle. Okay. It's being held in New York. If you get a moment, I'd like you to pick it up for me. Okay. Certainly. Good. It may not be there, as the house where it was stored lay in the path of the Great Fire. Oh. If so. That sucks. Worry not. Has your neighbor damaged your carriage? The fuck? What'd I do? Dude, I was just walking past those guys, man. We're in a liberated area, too. <laughs> yeah, aim that. On. Where you going, buddy? Okay, this guy's pissing me off here. Fuck you. And you. And you. And you. Oh, yeah? Bitch! <laughs> Love to see it. Now, all because of what? What did I do? Like, I had no wanted level. I was walking down. Like, you know what? Just because, I'm going to take your treasure from you. I did nothing to these guys. Bitch. Dumbasses. Like, these guys came at me for no reason. I was walking down the road, literally. Yeah? How's that for a joke? Now. Because you all are acting like such fucking petty bitches. Yeah, I'm gonna take your shit. Absolutely, I'm taking that. Take a thousand pounds. Thank you. For my trouble. I didn't want the trouble. I was walking down the road, man. Mind my own business. Alright, let's try that again. <laughs> it would have burned had it not been here. Oh, it was inside the... Why was it hidden in the... In the wall? What type of painting is this? Alright, let's see how Achilles likes this. Alright. Ah, it's so bright. <laughs> 
Oh, wakey wakey, buddy. I have the painting you sent me for. Would you like some help hanging it? Maybe not just yet. What? Okay. Yo, you sent me to your yard to a burnt out ass building. And it's hidden in a wall just because, like, you're not going to hang it? Now I really want to know what it's all about, you know? <laughs> Shit. So we've helped the birth of a child. We've gotten some people married. What else are we going to do here? <laughs> hey, what's going on, buddy? Connor, might I have a word? Slander? Uh-oh. What do you think of our little plot of land, Doctor? It's quite beautiful. I'm grateful you found me. Us too. But to be truthful, people outside our community still avoid me like the bloody plague. He baffled me for a time, but then a courier delivered this to me. What do you got? Before you found me, the British had demanded I not treat patriots nor their supporters. I refused, so they set about destroying my business. Okay. This tells me their smear campaign is still very much in effect. If things don't change, I may be forced to leave. Well, we can't have that. Uh, we need you here. I will do what I can to end this defamation. You might start by finding the courier who brought this to me. Okay. He works out of Boston. All right. Time to head to Boston. All that drumming would annoy me. Like, it's the middle of the night, guys. The moon is out. Why are you guys drumming? I'd be, like, yelling at windows. Shut the fuck up. I'm trying to sleep. <laughs> All right, buddy. We got to talk. I'm here on behalf of Dr. White. It is time the campaign against him came to an end. Who is selling the papers that slander him? We won't find argument from me. Doc Lyle, he'll my leg good as nearly. The pamphlets have been distributed by a few paper boys around Boston. Okay. So, I hope we don't have to hurt the... Like, if they're kids... <laughs> I'll hurt the kids. Dr. Death. This guy ain't Steve Williams. Call him White Death? Jeez. Come for healing, leave in a box. Uh, at least we're giving the kids some money, you know, helps them out. Thanks, mister. Less than I get for this, though. <laughs> you cocky little shit. <laughs> All these kids out in the pouring rain, man, trying to sell papers. But you know what? You, you had to do what you had to do back then, I guess. Yeah, here, take this cash, boy. Get inside. Get yourself a mince pie or something. How many are there? Shit. Yo, if those guys just rolled up on me, I'd... Didn't I always really bribe this kid? Oh, I thought I smacked him. I swear we already paid that kid. Yeah. So who is it? Hello? How come I can't pickpocket no more? There we go. There we go. Give me that shit. There are too many guys there. I don't want to beat them up. Yeah, now it's not, it's not a kid anymore. <laughs> uh, this pouring rain makes me feel like I'm soaking wet. I hate it. 
What's going on, guys? How y'all doing? Oh, what is this? What? Why would this guy try and come after our blacksmith, like, by himself? Connor! What is happening? Found this guy skulking around the inn. I pressed him, and it turns out he's looking for a deserter. Oh. Goes by the name of Big Dave. Says he's alone. Isn't that right? I am! I'm alone! I swear it! I wonder who this Big Dave guy is. Another one, Connor. If he gets back to his officers, I'm done for. Yep, let's get it. Boy, oh, we're doing a horse. Okay, okay. Dude, what the fuck? I didn't even have a chance. <laughs> I was like doing the sprint and everything. Dude, no shot. Big Dave, you're done, bro. <laughs> Sorry, man. We did our best. No blacksmith for us. Didn't even have a chance. <laughs> I'm gonna loot you for my troubles. Isn't that such a weird back and forth? Like the first try, like we were so far away, it didn't happen. And then this one, he didn't even get on his fucking horse, man. <laughs> man. Well, <laughs> second time was easier around, I guess. Oh, did we kill him already? Is he done? Oh, wow. He. he you put a beat him on that bad. He's that winded. Where is he? Coward kicked me in the gingham of Bob's <laughs> and through sand in Dave's eyes. But he's long gone now. Not good, Connor. You no, let him run away? We can expect visitors soon. Kicked him in the gingham of Bob's? Really? <laughs> I've never heard. The boys described as Ginga Mabobs. All right, well, we're going to have to fight when they're coming after us. Don't come to our town. I can't believe that guy got away from both of them. Fuck off. That's frustrating. We got to train these guys or something. Like, that's not cool, bro. You have to get through us first. We're with you, big guy. No matter who's coming. Connor. Connor. Yeah, let's do it right now. Let's go. They're coming, David. We need to be ready. Who is coming? Redcoats. Mm. David's to be tried for treason. Executed more than likely. Not happening. Connor, glad you're here. I want to show you something. What do you got, Big Dave? What do you got, buddy? Ah. Right. Y'all don't know about me, do you? I'm afraid, though. Like, we barely have fucking time. Sorry, Bambi. I just hit the deer. Alright, well. Can I get up in the trees or something? Yeah, that's why I uh, think about that. How come I'm not hurting him? I didn't even... Yeah, you guys suck. You're done. Okay, where are they coming from, though? Come into my town. Think you cause some problems? No, sir. Oh. 
Don't you already see the massacre, guys? No, the reload! Damn it! Yeah, watch me work, guys. Watch me work. Miriam's taking a bit of a shit kicking here. There we go. One more round, I think, at best. I I'm not concerned. Connor, I'm sorry for bringing this violence on the village. <laughs> I was bringing the violence to them. The British will not risk losing more soldiers for one deserter. Fucking right. You are free of it now. Well, to be fair, they did wear bright red coats into battle in the forest, so... Uh, I don't know, man. <laughs> the homestead continues to grow. Hopefully they're not doing anything weird in there. What's up? Thousand pound idea? Okay. I'm interested. As long as I don't have to lift the, lift the, the, the thousand pounds. It's in New York on occasion. I only asked because I ordered a package from France and it's long overdue. Oh. I've written a postmaster and he's yet to respond. I thought you could inquire in person if you had the chance. I will pass by the next time I am there. Which will be right now. <laughs> All right, this guy's looking too casual, man. Do your job, bro. He's just smoking his pipe. Are you going to do your job, buddy, or what? I have come to inquire on a package arriving from France on behalf of Lance O'Donnell. Was picked up and signed for by his apprentice a couple of days back, Patrick O'Hara. Oh, that motherfucker Patrick again. Is Mr. O'Donnell's former apprentice. Would you happen to know where he Man, is? this kid needs to get a fucking sure. beating. He's been hanging around the docks the last few days. Should be around the way. Here, take these pages and hide them. Don't let that guy get his hands on them. That guy? You mean that guy, huh? Shady motherfucker. Dude, you are not. Oh, seriously? Yeah, I can make ready. Yeah, how you like that? Oh shit! We get. Dumbass. Dude, there's so many fucking dudes around. Why? Yo, let's go. That was sick. Slice and dice, baby. Nice. You got, are you guys watching this? What the? F get the fuck off me. Boom, bitch. I love the slow motion. Now. All I, maybe I should have just pickpocketed them, huh? <laughs> I didn't even think. I thought... <laughs> let's Maybe let's try the pickpocket next time. <laughs> Might be a better idea. Oh, don't tell me they're going to leave on their ships, bro. Oh no. Well, fuck it. What's up, boys? No. Just take you down one by one. I did. That's one thing I did miss about this. No. Oh, doggy. Oh, no. I thought the dog. Oh, that was the wrong place, wrong time. There we go. Woo! Nice little parry there. Done. Ah! Pussies. Yeah, now what are you gonna do? Get out of here! <laughs> Dog, get the fuck out of here! There, now. Where was I? Ugh, that water looks gross. 
Na. There we go. Dude, just stop try Dead. What's up, boys? Get rid of the big guy first. Nope. Dude, okay. Wow. Okay. Fuck you, asshole. Stop it! Bitch. Fuck all you guys, man. I want to kill that dude. His former apprentice? That guy can eat a bag of dicks. Just a big-ass bag of them, man. Okay, let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Alright, what's going on? What's up, ladies? How you doing? Oh, not a day goes by that one of the boys doesn't hurt himself. I'll get some rest with the doctor around, sending the boys his way. <laughs> I know what you mean. Maria is all over the property like a mad girl. Norris found her in his mine yesterday with a great big gash in her knee. That girl, <laughs> I tell you. <laughs> It sounds like Kids, you right? have your hands full. Well, you could see that. Having the doctor here is great for all of us, Connor. Thank you for finding him and bringing him here. He came here. I got you. I only brought him the offer. Yeah, I love that. Every time we talk, it's it's how it's about how people are thriving and you know all that stuff. It's just I don't know. It's just a story, but you know what? It just makes you feel good. All right, let's take. So we still have Audible over here and another mission there. Okay. I don't know why I marked it. It's like right in front of me. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, it's upstairs. What's up, buddy? How you doing? Having some lunch up there or what? Oh, it's having a smoke. I have your plans. What are they for? You got them! This, Connor, is the design for a chair that folds. Genius! Uh -huh. You won't regret this. <laughs> hey, man. If he's excited, he's excited. So what's the mission, though? Oh, I just have to bring in the plans. Oh, okay. Well, cool. Oh, we have another audible right here. He's going to be working on that chair. Connor! Great time. I know, I was like in it just a neighborhood. Away on something that might be of interest to you. No? What is that? Those plans you retrieved for me. And believe you me, they were worth all the fuss. A folding chair. Right. You talked about that. I do not follow you. <laughs> it's a chair that folds, Connor. <laughs> you can fold it right up and stack them, store them, transport them. <laughs> I could have a thousand chairs in my back room. It's <laughs> simple brilliance, and I am going to make a fortune. All right, a folding chair. <laughs> Connor is like, okay. I wish you the best with it. <laughs> You'll see, Connor. You'll see. Hey, man, you have the freedom to pursue your business interests, my man. Go make a million from it. Hey, to be fair, back then. If there wasn't any folding chairs, you know, to the right buyer, that could help. But, like, in this small community, ah, I don't know. What does Achilles have to say? Ooh. What do you got, buddy? Need another picture, no doubt. What is it, old man? Just an old painting. Where? I have gathered that much. Why will you not open it? It is something close to me. Something that I can't bear to look at just yet. Perhaps someday I will muster up the courage to gaze upon it again. Hmm. But not yet. I completely forget what the picture is of. So I'm actually pretty curious what the hell it is. <laughs> All right. Yeah, who's outside for us to talk to? Oh, 
Oh, it's you. How's the folding chairs coming along? Connor, I'm so glad you're here. Okay. The plans I got, they weren't just a folding chair. Oh, no. They had okay. something else with them. Something quite astonishing. A flying machine designed <laughs> by Leonardo da Vinci himself. Okay. And I built it. Oh, now, no way. You can be the first to try it if you like. You'll be able to fly. Soar like an eagle. And it works? Da Vinci was one of the greatest minds in human history. As brilliant a man as there has ever been. You can be certain it works. Would you like to try? Yes. Such a device would certainly prove useful. It's funny because we did this as Ezio. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is such a cool flashback. Well, you gotta come see if I'm okay, buddy, or what? <laughs> uh, I guess there wasn't enough wind or current to help us get there. <laughs> you won't lose your leg that much, I can promise you. But it will hurt some for a time. Oh, no. I simply can't get to all these men in reasonable time. What happened to them? Help from you, from anyone. I think I have someone for you. Why are we yelling? Diana? Okay. Why are all these people hurt? What the fuck happened? Diana, come with me. I need your help. Dr. White is overwhelmed and needs some extra help. Yeah, she can hoof it. Let's go. Maybe not. But I have seen you care for people before. You have the way of it. Like, I want to know why all these people are hurt. Like, what happened? Diana, perfect. I'm told you have a healer's hand. Please see to this young man. Connor, if you could help the two gentlemen out front. Okay. What happened? Okay. Thanks, Jim. Good of you to help. I should be all right. Holy crap. Hey, 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 hey. We're helping, okay? Many thanks, Captain. Yeah, thank me. Don't fight me. <laughs> Another arm. Okay, that's no problem. Oh, he, oh, he dislocated it. Nice. Caught a piece of shrapnel in the shoulder. But relocating it helps the shrapnel on the shoulder? Oh, bitch, I will smack the fuck out of you. <laughs> Don't. Caught some burn off a rope. It happened. <laughs> These guys are all talking about injuries that have nothing to do with what we're treating. Alright, yeah, put Put a hand on it, it should be fine. <laughs> You did well, Connor. But Diana, you impressed me greatly. W well, thank you, Doctor. I haven't studied the practice or anything. Maybe not, but your instincts are superb, and you have a healer's touch. If you had the time, I would be grateful for your help on a more regular basis. <laughs> Maybe Catherine could watch the young ones a few days a week. And if she can't, we'll find someone who will. Though, if you can train more medical people... That's awesome. You don't want to, have to be stuck with one person who's doing all that stuff. Because if you lose them... Remember we were playing Dying Light? Not Dying Light. Days Gone. And like the one medic, man. When the one surgeon like guy got killed, it was... Pff, people were fucked. Someone in the shed? What are you doing in here? Who is this? Oh, okay. Good day, Connor. Hello, Dr. White. Diana. Hello there, Connor. Diana and I were just having a look over our equipment and facilities. They've seen a great deal of use in the last few yeah, days. Yeah, no shit. So things have turned for the better. Better than it ever was in Boston. I was missing my apprentice when things first exploded, but now I have Diana. She's better than he was in every respect. Ha. Nice. And are you happy, Diana? Now, isn't Diana married, though? I, never thought this would be my path, I think so. Because she has kids, so... Feels right. 
cool. Yeah, I think that's totally a good good fit for her. Absolutely. Alrighty, what do you got for us, Achilles? Old man. Oh, fuck. Achilles. Did he even ever look at that painting? What did he leave for us? Aww. That was like basically missing dad for him. <sighs> That's all we're doing. We're just giving him the news. I really want to see what was on that picture, man. I really do. I don't think we ever hung it. And he never got a chance to see it again either. That's the tough part. But you know what? He did live to see this area come to life again. You know, families and a community. So I think that would have been some... That would have been warm on his heart, I would, I would hope. I still do feel bad he never had a chance to look at that painting one last time, though. Why am I whistling it? Bro, seriously? Can we, like, enter? Thank you. Awkward. What is it? Achilles has passed. I'm so sorry. He passed peacefully and with dignity. Yeah, he got to pass in his home in one of his favorite chairs. A service then? Yes. Please prepare something appropriate. I will see the grave is dug. Can you gather everyone? Anna, if you oh. are reading this, I have failed to say goodbye. As we I have to do this in the rain. But the time never seemed appropriate. I leave this land and all its resources to you. I trust you now know this place has become something of great significance. Absolutely. A community to serve as an example of what this would-be nation could become. But the larger and stronger it grows, the more fragile and difficult to defend it becomes. Isn't that a weird dichotomy and a balance? I hope your friends who are birthing this infant country understand this truth. Your unwavering tenacity and honesty have burdened you with responsibility far greater than any one man should bear. But you, if anyone, are capable. Hmm. You have given an old man hope that all is not lost. Yeah. And for that, I thank you. I ask that you lay my bones to rest on the hill overlooking the water. Mm. There is no other place on this earth I'd rather be. Aww. I... I'm grateful to have met you, knowing you will guide this land and these people to a better future. Aww. Yours in brotherhood. There's a... Oh, and they had the flag on there. sermon do not suit this occasion. Achilles was not a man of God. Not my God, at any rate. What a fair statement. But he certainly believed in a guiding force. And he is at That's... peace now, and for that we can be grateful. We lay him to rest here, atop the bluff where he made his honorable and dignified life. So he can remain that comforting presence, the old man on the hill, that we have all grown to depend on. You all had your own relationships with him. 
your own moments. And I implore you to return here when the time is right for you mm. and share those stories with the waves and the trees. Achilles, you will be missed, but never forgotten. Aww. Go safely, old man. Safely to where your soul need rest. In Rogue, Achilles is young. So, and at that point, they're talking about Connor being up and coming. But how do they know about Connor? Because Achilles didn't even know about Connor until he was old. It's confusing to me, man. It's really confusing to me. So grim about the homestead now that Miss Abigail and little Connor have passed. Aye. Connor! Connor! Oh my god, I fucked up! I fucked up, and this is actually really good that I was wrapping up all the Homestead missions to Assassin's Creed 3. Like, I forgot that, pardon me, Achilles' first son was named Connor. Not the Connor, uh, the assassin, the First Nation's assassin. He he, he gave Connor, the, the First Nation, I, I can't pronounce his uh, Aboriginal name. But the assassin Connor got his English name from Achilles after his dead son. That helps. That's what they were talking about when we were at the homestead. That's why it was a young Achilles. The Connor they were talking about was his real son, not the assassin Connor. Boom. I feel so much better now. That was really bugging me. Really bugging me, Penguins fan. How are you doing, brother? Good to see you, by the way. Oh, that just took a whole burden off my back. Because this just makes so much more sense now. Oh, I'm so happy. Oh, man. I will make you proud, old man. Oh, the feather. I thought that was really respectful. And I think it says something towards, like, this whole religion thing. The guy's like, Achilles didn't believe in God. Well, at least not my God. But that doesn't diminish him in any way, shape, or form. He had his own moral code that he was able to follow and live a dignified life. Shouldn't that be thought of for most religions it's like okay you follow god i follow god but oh you see this differently like, let's kill each other no nah, man it's like dude and even free people who don't believe in god it's like hey man i'll believe in god but hey you do you bro and i think it comes down to stuffing things down people's throat a lot i really do you know you can be open and honest and be like hey yeah this is my faith so i believe and then people probably respect you for it you know um, especially if your actions match up with the faith that you claim to lead or to believe in, right? But just don't push it down people's throat. I think everyone's cool with it, you know. So I loved how he he acknowledged, yo, I'm a, I'm a I'm a priest of the cloth. Okay, this guy didn't believe in my God, but there's a lot of awesome things about this man that should be respected and remembered, you know. Here's the picture. Okay. It's a special mission. Well, hold up. Start mission. Start, start. The button isn't, like, showing up. There we go. So what is the painting here? I do feel so shitty that he didn't get to look at it one last time. Is it his family? I think it was his family before they all passed. It was his family. 
Yeah. It was his family. If that actually hurts even... Even more. Like... Even if it hurts... I still want to see that for one last time, you know? Is this it? Yeah, it is. Achilles' original outfit. Absolutely. I also liked how the uh, the preacher welcomed people to come back at their own time to reflect and, and share with people. You know? Or not share. He said share with the trees and the water and the wind, you know? When the time is right for you. Very respectful. Very appropriate. I never properly said goodbye to you. I was not ready. Yeah. So here I am. The weight of my responsibilities never seems to diminish. There is always something else that needs fighting for. This huh. is something you never warned me of. Maybe because you thought I would have been deterred. You would have been wrong, but I know you were not accustomed to that. <laughs> Life carries on here. The people seem happy. They are certainly safe. Mm. At least for now. Yeah. One of my brotherhood asked me something I have been struggling with. What happens if, when, we win? Ooh. When we stop the Templars. Right? It is a question I certainly do not know the answer to. Perhaps you did not either. I miss you. Mm. As I miss my mother. Oh. I hope all is well with you. Wherever you are. Goodbye, old man. Until it comes time for me to join you, then I will bother you once again. <laughs> for all his brevity, Connor did have a sense of humor. Very dry, very stern, but he had one in there. It came out every once in a while. Came out every once in a while. And I think, my friends, that does it for the Homestead missions. There was a lot to do after we ended the streams. All right. I think, yeah, that wraps up the Homestead, guys. <laughs> it, was, it was a really cool side mission. I really like this. It reminded me of rebuilding the, the town of Monterigione in Assassin's Creed 2. I, I really like that side quest, and... In this situation, we did something similar. We built up the community, but in doing so, we got a chance to see how it impacted people's lives and their livelihoods. And it was really interactive to, like, I got into it, you know, oh, this guy's screwing over this per like, our builder, let's go help him out, right? We, I was able to get into it, and I enjoyed that a lot. So I liked that, uh, how they really kind of took that uh, from Assassin's Creed 2, and they kind of integrated something like that here it was definitely fun so for anyone who randomly watched this that hasn't seen the rest of assassin's creed 3 or it's been a long time since you actually went through the main story of it um please why don't you pop over to uh, our playlist i'll put it in the description below uh that has all of our episodes that we did on stream of my first playthrough. I think it was like eight, nine years, ten years since I had played this on our way to playing through all the Assassin's Creed games. And I'm going to have all of those in the description below, so feel free to check those out if you have it, or it's been a long time since you've seen some of these good old Assassin's Creed games. Um, I, I welcome you to do so. Um, you know, enjoy it. Come along with us on the journey. And these games really are like good books. You know, if you haven't played them or seen them in a couple of years, it's always fun to come back to. Um, and the benefit is you don't have to worry about the gameplay. <laughs> I take care of all of that. This is weird. This is normally where I sign off my stream. But this isn't a stream. It's a video. stuff. So if you like this idea on this game or any of the other games I've streamed, please feel free to comment them. Um, even let me know in the Discord or on Twitter. Uh, that way I know what interests you and what you guys enjoy. Alrighty. If you're wondering what we're actually streaming next, we do have our schedule up on the community tab in the YouTube 
channel, the YouTube, not my YouTube channel, the YouTube channel. <laughs> and as we wrap up, I do want to welcome you to actually come on to one of the streams in chat. Come say hi. Come laugh with us. We have a blast. Whatever game we're playing, we have a bunch on rotation. Come say hi. See what we're playing and just hang out for a bit. It'll be fun. Uh, I always love having people in chat. It just makes the game so much more fun to share that experience with you guys. I have the schedule posted up on the community tab on the YouTube channel. I have it on the about section on my kick, Twitch, and DLive, right? So just go to any one of those platforms, all right? And go to about and you can click on it. It'll pop right up. Uh, you should be able to see the schedule of what we're doing, all right? Thank you so much for whopping, whop, whopping. Thanks so much for whopping. Megan the Stallion and Cardi B, thank you. That was a public service. <laughs> thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. Take care.